So I've gotten this far with the $2 million puzzle, gotten most of the edge done, um, the bottom edge uh, seems to fit in a couple different ways, so I've kind of left it undone for now. But also notice that three of the four corners, this corner, this corner, and this corner, have a large square with a smaller square inside of it. So those, uh, at least we know what it looks like. So let me show you what else I noticed about the pieces. Um, you notice I have a couple of them in the middle of the board and uh, there's six pieces right there and I've identified them in two different ways. There's basically two different shape pieces. There are these short fat ones here and here and there are these long ones. So I've called them uh, fat pieces and long pieces. Another thing to notice about these pieces is that the long pieces are always going to go in that direction with the puzzle uh, in this fashion. And the short ones are always going to go basically sideways. I call that sideways. So what I've done is I've sorted my pieces that way. Let me show you what I mean. Here is an example of um, all long pieces. Here is an example of some long pieces on the bottom and fat pieces on the top, and I'll explain why they differ. Same thing here. Fat pieces on the top, long pieces on the bottom. This blue tray has all fat pieces. And then these two box tops have long pieces in this one and fat pieces in this one. You notice the box top ones, the difference is the um, these have mostly black in them. That's the, really the only difference. Uh, this one with blue, which has fat pieces, um, has a lot of stripes in them. And then I even segregated the stripes differently so that the top edge has stripes going vertical, the bottom part has stripes going horizontal, and the middle one kind of has stripes that go both directions. Similar over here with my tall pieces. The top section is mainly stripes that are vertical, the bottom one are stripes that are horizontal, and in the middle maybe stripes that are going both directions. This one happens to be a lot of blue. Um, no real designation between the stripes other than fat pieces on the top and stripes and um, long pieces on the bottom. One final note about the pieces is getting back to the puzzle. You'll notice when I'm in this orientation, the 3D effect always has green on the bottom or on the left side. See green on the outer edge, so from left to right it would go green, yellow, orange, red. Um, if there is no colors in it, then you can say that um, black and blue is always going to be blue on the top or on the right of the black. Knowing that, I then sorted the pieces um, by the orientation they're going to be in the puzzle. For example, green is always on the left or always on the bottom. Notice green always on the left or always on the bottom of every piece. So green, yellow, orange, red going from left to right or bottom up. And you'll notice I made a mistake with this one. Green should be on the bottom. So I've tried to sort them all in such a way. Remember, tall ones always go um, that one's wrong as well. I think I just moved it by mistake. So remember, tall ones always go vertical. Green is always on the left or on the bottom. How this helps is when I'm looking for a piece, for example, I'm looking for a piece that goes right in here. This piece right here. So that piece is going to have black on the right side and then probably a stripe of red 
and orange, and maybe yellow. So these are all of my stripe pieces. So I want a piece that's got black on the right side, and then um, red starts just to the left of the knob. So maybe this one might fit. So I'll try this one. And it doesn't fit. It doesn't want to go in there. I'll put it back. And I'll look for another one in that. Maybe this one. And that one seems to fit. So that is my method of um, sorting and then as of identifying the pieces to fit. I'll stop the video here and we'll go for the next piece.